Away from the Champions League final, the biggest news has, of course, been Lionel Messi's impending move to Inter Miami. Katia Castarena from ESPN Deportes is in Miami to find out how the news has gone down that one of the world's best players is about to arrive. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's going to bring a lot more people to watch the MLS, so I'll take it as a W, I guess. But, yeah, it's pretty cool to see. And one of the biggest stars in the United States, I guess it works. I never would have thought in a hundred years that a goat like Messi would come to Miami. Um, he's going to do incredible things for the MLS and just grow the league, get a lot of more eyes on the league. Um, but I'm really happy. I'm really excited to see what comes of it. Uh, we're delighted to be joined by Katia now inside the Kaseya Center ahead of Game 4 tonight in the NBA Finals. And Katia... Obviously, there's so much excitement in Miami about Lionel Messi, but we're hearing he could be there tonight. Okay, thank you for having me. It's been crazy to say the least the last 48 hours and the last VIP list that we got is that Leo Messi would be in attendance tonight alongside Neymar, longtime Jimmy Butler friend. They, of course, were teammates just a few weeks ago at PSG. So it's been crazy here. I talked to the fans. They're very excited. We can arguably say that this is the biggest signing for any sport in the United States. And fans were even saying that for the city of Miami. This is even bigger than when they signed LeBron James to play here with the Miami Heat. And just to quantify it, looking at the numbers, when we see that Inter Miami's franchise has doubled its worth and it is now worth $1 billion, Lionel Messi alone has 469 million followers on Instagram, more than the biggest names in the U.S. when it comes to sports combined. So it's absolutely crazy. Everybody is excited to see him arrive and play for Inter Miami. Miami. Katia, how have the NBA players reacted, those that are playing for Miami, to Messi coming to the city? They're very excited. Starting with Jimmy Butler, as I mentioned, he's really good friends with Neymar. He's been here this week. They've been like shooting some hoops, playing some soccer as well. So, of course, he is the one that is also very excited because he's a fan of football. And now having Messi here and it, its impact is just massive. As for into Miami, though, as you mentioned, obviously, things are very much changing there for the club. But right now, they are bottom of the Eastern Conference in MLS. They still don't have a coach. Are there any updates in that aspect? The latest update is that Gerardo Tata Martino is the coach that it's really close to signing after Inter Miami parted ways with Phil Neville. Coach Tata Martino, who recently was with the Mexican national team in the World Cup, would reunite with Messi after coaching him both in Barcelona and with the Argentine national team, fellow countrymen. They're from the same town in Argentina. And Tata Martino is a great candidate because he already knows what it is to champion in the MLS when he gave the Atlanta United franchise, the first ever MLS Cup in 2018. Yeah, that would be so, so exciting. So if that's one name when it comes to coaching, what about other players? We're hearing lots of rumours of Messi's old friends maybe coming along to join him for this journey at Inter Miami. Can you tell us anything more about these rumours? One player in particular that Inter Miami have been following for quite some time now, it's Sergio Busquets. Busquets has to make a decision today in the next few hours because he has other offers from Saudi Arabia as well as Miami. That would be a really good signing for the team. The former Barcelona captain could rejoin as well with Lionel Messi. And speaking of reunited with fellow teammates, Angel Di Maria, who is now a free agent after leaving Juventus, and they played together for so many years with the Argentinian national team is also um, a, a target for Inter Miami, and that would be very special. Just imagine having Lionel Messi alongside Sergio Busquets and Angel Di Maria, what that would be and the meaning for MLS. Yeah, thanks so much for being with us, Katia. We look forward to seeing if Lionel Messi will be in attendance tonight and if he can bring some luck to the heat in levelling out the series. Thanks so much. We'll speak to you again soon, Katia. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on U2. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.